Hi everybody, my name is David Nesbitt and I'm a certified teaching professional at Morgan Run Club and Resort in Rancho Santa Fe, California. Today's video instruction tip is going to be a putting tip on how to help you produce better rolls and hopefully hold a lot more putts. We're going to use two simple training aids that you probably have around the house or maybe even have in your golf bag. And that's a poker chip and two die. So check out this video and hopefully we can help you produce a better roll on your putts and hopefully you start holding out more, lowering your scores. Let's begin. Most people that struggle with uh, distance control, they pull the putter up too soon and it's too much of an ascending angle of attack to the ball. So they end up hitting low on the face, which produces an uh, undesirable result. So what I want you to try to do is by forward pressing your hands a little bit and keeping the putter head low through the impact zone and on your finish, try to keep that putter head maybe three or four inches off the ground you're going to produce a more level stroke to the ball and you're going to hopefully hit the sweet spot more often. So hands forward, low back swing, low forward swing. If you're able to do that correctly, you should be able to strike this poker chip every time. So work on hitting the poker chip and sliding it across the green. If you can do that every time, there's a good chance that you're going to be striking the sweet spot of the putter on the vertical plane. Okay, try that first and then we'll try another tip on how to get you to start hitting more in the center of the club face on the horizontal plane. So not off the toe or the heel. Okay, and another reason why people miss hit putts or they hit them to the right or left um, is they don't hit the center of the sweet spot, they hit off the toe or the heel. So what we're going to try doing is putting an object on the putter face, directly on the face, to help you find the sweet spot on the horizontal plane. So all you're gonna do is grab some double-sided tape and use your die and you're gonna place them equidistant from the line on your putter. So you can see how the die are away from the center of the club face and the ball will be something more like this. Okay, so it's about maybe an eighth of an inch away. This is for the pros. So you may want to try the, putting the die a little bit further towards the toe or the heel, but let's try here first and see if we can be more successful and not hit these die. Try short putts first, and if we can miss the die and hit the sweet spot, we're going to hole out more putts. Just like that. So after you've mastered the short putts from maybe two to four feet, come back a little further each time. Right now I've got about a 10 footer. If I line this up properly and I hit the sweet spot right behind the line on the putter face, I should be able to hold more putts. So for me, putting is not the most glamorous part of the game to, to practice. However, it's probably the most important if you're looking at lowering your scores. So simple training aids like using the dice on the putter face or using poker chips to putt make it a little more fun to practice. And if you can have more fun practicing, you'll probably practice longer. So try these simple training aids out, these simple tips, and you'll become a better putter. You'll start rolling the ball more consistently, and hopefully you'll spend more time picking the ball out of the hole instead of marking your ball. Thanks for watching my video. My name is David Nesbitt. I'm a PGA teaching professional at Morgan Run Club and Resort in Rancho Santa Fe, California, and I hope these tips help. For additional improvements for your game, check out some of my other videos or simply subscribe to me on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and good luck.